Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a quick video for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over my injector that I use, the Super Surge Sucker. Uh, I've been using the one for about two years. I'm just now replacing it. Uh, I, had a I had a brass one before, but now I upgraded to uh, stainless steel, which, you know, they both work the same. It's just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Stainless steel is supposed to last longer, so I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, it's just a business expense, so you know, it doesn't hurt me no way. You can use the regular injectors. I do have the general pump injectors, but the Super Sun Sucker works well for me and that's the one I like. And like I said, I've had it for two years and that's my go-to. And um, there's no really no videos online on, or, or on YouTube that I've seen that go over how to put it together, what orifice to use, because it comes with different parts. And some people might just get it and just plug in and play, you know, but that's not how it goes. Uh, it comes with orifices that you have to put in and each one corresponds to what pressure washer you have so with that said let's move on over here to my workshop slash apartment <laughs> to show you guys what it looks like so to start off right here this is my regular downstream injector my my general pump you know downstream injector which comes with most pressure washers and you know most guys use this one too i mean it works fine uh, there's no issues with it whatsoever I mean that's the one I used for a while before I got the new one but um I already loosened it up so this injector right here usually puts out a one to a two percent so this is a 20 percent injector um, this is the one I used when I had my 5 GPM and I think I used it when I had the 4 too but uh yeah it works really well uh, just a standard one comes with a ball and spring inside, you know, does the trick. This is the super sub sucker right here. Uh, this one here is a bigger injector. If you look at the size difference, let me take the quick connects off. You see the size difference <laughs> between these two. This one is much larger, you know, so pulls a little bit more than this one here. You can see the size difference between those two. Look at that. It's almost half the size. Uh, but like I said, th these injectors, when you get them, they come with a few orifices that you put inside. And um, if you look inside of here, you know, I'm not sure if you guys can tell. If you look inside of there, see that orifice in there, it comes with different comes with like four different kinds well one is already installed but there's three more in the package you had to put the right one in there for it to work properly you know with your machine so this is the new one I just got right here this is my new one I ain't even open it yet been saving it for you guys so this is the new uh, sud sucker I just got Only difference is this one is stainless steel, this one is brass. That's the only difference. So this one right here has the orifice or nozzle, whatever you want to call it inside of there already. This is the number three nozzle. There's a number two, there's a number three, there's a number four, and there's a number five. So the way it goes is the number two is for two GPM to five GPM. The number three, which is already in here, it's installed already. It goes from five GPM to eight GPM. The four goes from eight to 10 GPM. And the five goes, you know, anything over 10 GPM. So you gotta make sure you put the right one in there. For me, you know, I gotta, 8 GPM, so this one is perfect. You know what I'm saying? I can use this. I can actually use the the three or the four because the four is from eight to 10. This one here, the number three, is from five to eight. So I can just leave it in there and just keep the four as a backup if anything happens to this one. And what I noticed was on, uh, on this one here, after a good year that I had used it, it, when it wasn't pulling, I took the orifice out 
and it was all like beat up like it was ate up all the way so i'm gonna show you guys what the orifice or the nozzles look like So this is what they look like right here. Just like that, yeah. Just like that. So mine, it was all ate up. All this right here, the end of it was all ate up. It was just basically threaded on. So let me get the third one for you guys. So you can see the size difference. Like I say, the three is already installed. All right, guys. Trying to hold these together. These are the orifice or the nozzles that goes inside the super sud sucker. Like I said before, the number two is the smallest one, which is to the left right here. The number three is already in the injector. The next size up is this number four, and this is the number five. See how big this one is compared to this one? A little bit bigger, and then this one right here is the smallest. So this is how you know which one to put in there. And basically what you have to do to get that out of here is use your Allen wrench. And I got my little kit right here. And my little kit. And just uh, hopefully I have the right size to go in there. Uh, I think it's this one here. So you just, just do like this here. screws and there's your orifice right there so you guys between the number two and number three see it's just a little bit bigger get closer for you guys it's a little bit bigger so this is the one I'm gonna be using you know, if you were using another one, you would just put the other one in there. So you just drop it in there, get your Allen wrench, screw that on. You gotta go crazy tight. Like I said, man, you can hold these back just in case you need a backup. Uh, you know, I can use the next one up if I want to on mine. And basically to get it, you know what I'm saying, to put it together, you're gonna need, you're gonna need a socket, you know what I'm saying, with the threads. Um, I don't like to use uh, tape that much on my stuff. Uh, I had put the last one together in the pinch, so that's why that's on there. So basically, I like to use uh, Loctite, like liquid Teflon, whatever you wanna call it. Obviously, I'm gonna tighten these up with a wrench when I get done. But um, that's how you put it together. I like to use stainless steel. You know, I keep try. I try to keep everything stainless steel. Obviously, I got some brass stuff too, but I keep those for backup. So yeah, man. Basically, that's how it goes. That's your injector ready to go, ready to spray. Also, guys, when you get your injector, make sure you have the right fittings on there uh, and it's facing the right way. So on the injector, it's going to have a flow. There you go right here, flow. So the flow goes this way, it's going that way. So your water's coming in right here and it's flowing and it's drawing the chemical from down here. So make sure you have it right, facing the right way. If you have it facing the other way like this, and if you had the plug on the socket, right here and then the plug that way it ain't gonna work that way you gotta make sure you always look at your all your injectors always have a flow you know what i'm saying you want to make it you want to make sure it's flowing the right way all right guys well i hope y'all enjoyed the video uh it was nice and sweet to the point you know just trying to help people out that has this injector uh, by the way uh pressure washing police y'all still off my videos i'm trying i'm not trying to sell anything to you guys i'm not trying to convince you to go buy a super sud sucker you can stick with the regular injector if you want to i'm just saying this is what i use it's my channel i'm just giving y'all my input on stuff that i use as you guys know i don't sell nothing on this channel i don't push anything on you guys you know what i'm saying so y'all stay tuned man if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe got plenty of videos you know if you find value to it if you 
you find value, just go ahead and like the video. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.